Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is December 24th, 2021. Have a, I hope you are having a wonderful day today and a blessed week. I want to uh, share um, two videos with you. Um, as you know, I have been watching the time frame leading up to January 6th through January 8th and uh, there's two videos that have come out that are very important uh, videos and I want to also thank both of these uh, video producers for the shout outs they gave me in their videos Rose Hannah has a wonderful video uh, about the pit was opened Obama opened the pit and altered the timeline on 9-23-15. And this was the day that Obama was at the White House with uh, Pope Francis. It turns out that the week of that final blood moon in Israel uh, was also the date of the UN Sustainable Goals Agenda 2030. Okay, so uh, Rose Hanna has an extensive video on all of this and actually mentioned that Agenda 2030 is a play on the 2300 days. 2030 can be reversed to 2300. And uh, so January 9th, is the end of the 2300 days whether it's uh, January 8th inclusive or January 9th non-inclusive between January 8th and January 9th is the end of the 2300 days Rose Hannah has a wonderful video if you have not seen that I encourage you all uh, to see that thank you Rose for the shout out that I received in your video uh, the next video I want to share with you is uh, Mark Allison's most recent video he just did he uh, mentions both Rose, uh, Hannah's video, and my own work that is uh, has been pointing to January 6th through January 8th. And Mark also gave both of us a, a shout out. Thank you, Brother Mark, uh, for that. And now Mark has got information about the number 770, which means cup of the Lord's wrath very interesting that uh, the rumors of war statue that was uh, created by uh, Wiley the same uh, painter and uh, artist that uh, did the painting of Barack Obama rumors of war that statue was uh, on display until December 1st 2019 and from December 1st 2019 to January 8th is uh, 770 days and so Mark has a video called rumors of war 770 cup of the Lord's wrath and how this could also be pointing us to uh, this time frame Okay, so, so as I have been sharing with you, um, my first video I did on January 8th was nine days ago when I saw that from May 14th, 2018, Israel's 70th birthday, it's 1,335 days to January 8th. Okay, um, so I've done about one, seven, 13 videos uh, since then, we're talking about all of this information. It's connected to the 1,335 days, the 2,300 days. It's connected to the Russia invasion. Could happen at Christmas. We have uh, January 7th is Orthodox Christmas in Russia, in Ukraine. Christmas is January 7th. Um, we've got the connection to the possible Christmas at Ground Zero if a nuclear war erupts on uh, Russian Christmas okay Christmas at ground zero we just had baby Baphomet uh, displayed at the Illinois State Capitol which is Obama's state 
Okay, um, so it's a birthing ritual for the arrival of the Antichrist baby Baphomet instead of baby Jesus at the Illinois State Capitol. Uh, then we've got this information about January 5th, the blackouts that may begin on January 5th with the uh, release and the, in the final authorization, 5G is going to be switched on on January 5th. Very uh, concerning information connected to the aviation industry. There's actually grave warnings that are being given about the dangers that could be connected to the aviation industry and the uh, all of the frequencies and all of the radio signals that they need uh, to provide safe uh, travel, safe arrival, safe landings, uh, and that could be interfered with by the uh, by the connection of 5G, especially in those areas close to airports. Okay, um, and uh, then recently here just a couple days ago the information came out uh, that on the Drudge Report VAX status could be tracked with microchip uh, you know it's what is the mark of the beast <laughs> okay the, the microchip is proof if they're gonna be moving forward to get uh, instead of a, a, a passport in a uh, encoded in your phone or on a paper or some type of uh, physical proof uh, exterior to your body then um, you know that's proof of what you already have in your body okay so a microchip showing your VAC status I mean you can't have one without the other okay the vaccine in and of itself is the mark of the beast and the VAX uh, status in the microchip is proof of the mark of the beast they can't they can't you can't separate these two and so I just you know I want to let everybody know that you know the the vaccine in and of itself is connected to this proof that you will need for buying and selling okay we're still being uh, you know duped in the United States to believe that uh, there's freedoms okay but these freedoms are going to be stripped very very soon um, and uh, you know that the vaccine mandates um, that had been on hold are going into play on January 4th okay so all of these things coming together we've got the three the 1335 days from Israel's 70th birthday we've got 2300 days from the UN sustainable goals we've got 2300 days from uh, Obama's meeting with the Pope at the White House we've got the connection to Orthodox Christmas we've got a connection to the 5G okay even Comet Leonard is uh, going um, perihelion closest to the sun on um, on uh, January 3rd okay so then we've got January 3rd is Comet Leonard perihelion we've got January 4th the vaccine mandates going to place we've got January 5th we've got the blackouts beginning the the 5g uh, towers being turned on okay the other thing with all of this and that you know that I've shared in all of these messages is that January 8th is is the transition of Venus from evening to morning star it's the inferior conjunction of Venus I've shared about this in in, in, in these messages and uh, so the the transition of Venus right now Venus is one of the most glorious evening stars the I mean it's just super bright it's been super bright okay even this week Comet Leonard has been visible in the in the same site as Venus and so th this focus on this on this area of the sky has been so important such an amazing sign in the heavens well Venus is is the the Sun is going to go by Venus and Venus is going to change position and it's no longer going to be an evening star it's going to be a morning star so that happens on January 8th and I found that connection to be one of the most important with all the, all of the other things we're watching day 1335 from Israel's 70th birthday is the exact day that Venus becomes the morning star okay so 
Jesus said, I am the bright and morning star. And uh, that could be the sign together with everything else of the day that we're waiting for. Well, I wanted to share these uh, piece of information with you from uh, Rose Hanna and from Mark Allison, who are both focusing on January 8th and January 9th and I uh, have some things to share with you about that so I wanted to share those links with you I will put those first in the description box below and then I will share the links to my most recent videos and all of the information that I have been sharing leading to January 6th through January 8th so I have you I, I pray you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful week I will continue uh, waiting and watching and uh, looking for uh, new information and um, in the meantime I just wanted to share with you guys these two videos I pray you guys are blessed this is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed